So I thought I would do my January wrap up. Finally. So the first book I read for the year, and I don't have the book with me anymore. It was Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. I don't know if I want to express my opinion on it again. Okay, maybe I will. I really didn't enjoy it. I mean, the only character I really enjoyed was Baz, and the only parts of the books that I really enjoyed was when Baz was in it. I hated the first half of the book. I liked the last half of the book. I didn't love it. I felt like it was too hyped up. I wasn't getting into the hype. <laughs> I think my expectation was just so high that I was just very disappointed in the end. So, so yeah, carry on, but remember all. That was my first book of the year. So the next book I was able to read was Cruel Crown from Victoria Aveyard, and it's basically about two women, um, Cal's mom, who is in the silver side, and Captain Farley, who's on the red side, and it's just, you know, the things that they went through. Um, it kind of held me down until the actual book came out, which is Glass Sword. And I am so happy that I finally able to get it. But, yes, I truly enjoyed it. The next book I was also able to read was Da Vinci's Tiger. I did a review on this. Wasn't such a great review. But, I mean, I was having higher expectations. When I looked at the title and I looked at the cover, I thought this was going to be about a passionate love affair between this young woman who is considered to be Da Vinci's tiger and young Da Vinci himself, but it is not. But it's still a very beautifully written book, so I do like the book, and if you'd ask if, if I would recommend it, I would recommend it. But I wouldn't buy it. Like I wouldn't spend money on this book. Again, it's a beautiful written book. My expectations were up there, and it wasn't met, and it's my fault. It was my. It's it's literally my fault for not enjoying this book. And I think I need to stop putting my expectations so high when I read. I I think it's just my fault. I need to stop putting my expectations up to here. And I just need to read the book and just enjoy it. Just enjoy the book. The next book I was able to read was Wendy Darling by Colleen Oaks. And I absolutely love this book. I truly enjoy this book. This is a retelling of Peter Pan, a dark retelling of Peter Pan in Wendy Darling's POV. I have a review on this book. Um, I believe it's non-spoiler. Yeah, I guess a non spoily review. Um, I will link below. I would totally watch that. I love this book. Um, yeah, I have a review for it on this channel. And I also reviewed on it um, in my Goodreads. And it's pretty much the same. I pretty much said the same thing on both ends. But I honestly cannot wait for the second book. Can not. So... Yes, I totally love Colleen Oaks. I also finished Illuminae by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman, and I absolutely love this book. I was planning to do a review on this book, but I decided not to. I mean, what more can I say besides that reading this physical copy and also listening to the audiobook, it was just fantastic. The book is written in... Um, in like this format where it's just like classified files, medical files, text messages, emails, um, video surveillances, interviews, and you would think because of the format you wouldn't feel connected to the characters, but you do. And I love Kate and I love Ezra and they're like just you, the story is great. I mean, it's it's like a Star Wars slash zombie kind of book, but I feel like I'm more invested into the characters than I am in the actual like plot. So, yeah, and I love the AI Aiden. Like, 
I mean, to be honest, I'm still not sure if he's a good guy or a bad guy, but um, he's a really great character as well, very well developed. Um, the audiobook is insane. I mean, I didn't read it like, oh, I would read a few pages here and, you know, listen to a few chapters there. I literally read this whole book and I literally read, um, listened to the whole audio. And the audiobook, it's like a whole cast and crew. It was like listening to a movie. It's like I had a blindfold on and I was just listening to a freaking movie. And it's just amazing. I love the last few chapters in the audiobook. It's just a great experience. So I would definitely 100% totally recommend this book. Like, seriously. I mean, out of all the books I've read for the month of January, these two books were my fave. I would totally recommend these. Totally pick up Colleen Oaks. Um, I know she's doing another retelling about um, Alice in Wonderland. And she also has a contemporary, I think it's an adult, contemporary adult book as well that I hear that it's very good. And so, I'm a little curious and I actually got Heartless. Like, it's not out yet as far as I know. Not in the US anyway, but I got a copy. I don't know how I got the copy, but I got the copy and I, I cannot wait to read that and review. But, um, yes, you guys, totally, totally recommend Illuminae and Wendy Darling. So, that is my January wrap up. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I probably rambled a lot. Um, but if you want to see any reviews on the books I read, uh, my Goodreads is linked below. Um, my review for Wendy Darling is linked below. And yeah, I think that would be it. I think that's it. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.